Hi everybody. Um, I'm so sorry about this morning. My two oldest boys are at home sick and so things got a little crazy. Um, but like I said, I didn't want to leave you guys empty handed. So um, I'm driving. Please, please bear with me. Um, so in talking with um, some of you last week, the big thing that you guys are struggling with, or at least the ones that I talked to, is motivation. And so um, I just wanted to get on here and talk about motivation a little bit and talk about motivation. Why I believe motivation is, isn't good for us. Um, and I shared this, uh, gosh, I don't know, February, back in February, but um, motivation comes and goes, right? Sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. Um, sometimes, um, sorry, I gotta, I'm getting hot. Sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't, right? And it comes and it goes. And um, if you've ever tried to start anything that's uncomfortable um, or that causes you to get out of the habits that you're in, we've been taught to rely on motivation, right? But that's not, motivation is a good thing to get us started, but motivation isn't what keeps us going. We have to decide, we have to make the choice to keep going. And so um, I know that it's been difficult for a lot of you because you haven't had the guidance. And I think this is one really big distinction that I want to make is the difference between motivation and guidance. You are all new to this um, and you've been looking for guidance, which hasn't been provided. Um, and I will take ownership of that and responsibility of that. Um, but I'm also not, I'm not responsible to provide the motive, your motivation. Um, and I say that with so much love, right? Like my responsibility is to guide you and to give you direction um, and to teach you. And again, that hasn't been happening, but that's changing, that's changing. Um, but what I need for, so I'm gonna show up in that way, right? To teach and guide you. But what I need from you guys is to decide, is to make a choice. What are you gonna do each day or every other day or once a week towards your business, right? And that's where motivation steps out of the picture because if we're making decisions on what we're gonna do each day, then we don't need motivation to, we don't need the motivation to keep going because we've already made that decision. We do need to decide to follow through and that is very different than motivation, right? Like once the motivation leaves us, that's when we're, we need to step in, right? You personally need to make the decision to keep moving forward even when that motivation is gone. Um, and I did, I did do a, I taught all about this. I, I think I talked for like an hour and a half a while ago. Um, but I can't remember if I put up, if you guys have access to that YouTube. Anyways, I'll check. So just to summarize, um, when you're feeling like you have a lack of motivation, make a decision on what you're going to do next and then go out and do it. So for instance, I, um, I've been having a few enrollments, which has been really good. Um, and well, actually, sorry, I'm going to share a different story. So every once in a while, every so often I have names that come to me, right? Names of people who I feel the divine, right? Or my higher power, um, are guiding me to. And if I relied on motivation to reach out to them, I would never reach out to them, right? Because I let fear get in the way. I get scared. 
um, I doubt, I do all of those things and then I end up not sharing. And so instead what I'm relying on is making the decision to contact them on a certain day at a certain time. Um, and that's the difference, right? And then, and then when I, sorry, and then the time that I've chosen to contact them, I sit down and I contact them. I don't let other things get in the way, which I know is really easy to do. Brother-in-law is calling me. Um, so I, I hope that, I hope that makes sense. I know I'm driving and it's, I hope, I hope that makes sense for you guys. So when you find that your motivation runs out or is gone, that's when you rely on you and the choices that you've made for you and for your business and for the people that you care about, right? The people who you want to share this with share doTERRA with because there are people oh man people are searching for solutions they're searching for a different option um and the ones that are your people aren't going to care about the money because it's not going to be too expensive right for them so for them it's going to be worth it and those are the people that we want. We do not want the people who say it's too expensive or who say, well, I can, I can go to someplace else and get it. Great, great, go do that. You know what I mean? Like that's their choice. We are searching and those are for the people who it's not too expensive, who are willing to pay for it and who are looking for solutions. Sorry, there's like a white car behind me. I thought it was a cop. Ah! Um, so don't worry about the people that say it's too expensive, right? Because that's fine. They can, that's their choice. They can believe that it's too expensive, right? Those are not our people. The people who come to you are already a yes. They're already looking for solutions. They're willing to try anything and they're willing to spend whatever they need to spend to get it. Um, those are the people we're looking for, not the other people. And we don't have to convince anybody either, right? Um, those can be other topics that we can talk about, that I can teach about. But, sorry, back to motivation. <laughs> if we keep focusing on the people who think it's too expensive, then of course our motivation is going to be gone. Of course it is, right? But if we keep our focus on the ones who are searching for us, the ones who are searching we're searching for, then we don't need motivation to keep going, right? All we need is the desire to find those people. And we can keep that desire going by making the choice to continuously find them. So I'm gonna leave you with that. If you guys have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, please reach out to me. Um, please let me know what you wanna be taught for next week. Um, it's going to be a short and sweet one again because we're getting ready to go on vacation on Thursday. We leave late Thursday night, which is Friday morning for you guys. So um, let me know what you're hoping to get taught on or what you need guidance on. Um, and just let me know how else I can keep supporting you. So I will talk to you guys next week. Um, don't forget Tuesday, we have our um, intro to essential oils class, right? It's our natural solutions class that I taught on Tuesday and hopefully I can get it down to an hour instead of an hour and a half. Um, but anyways, that's what I have for you guys. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Get out there and share what you know and what you love and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.